Before video games were mainstream, before one of the biggest companies had their main man mascot, Nintendo released a series of portable devices that swept the nation in the 80s and were heavily inspired by none other than a calculator of all things, ladies and gentlemen. On April 28th, 1980, Nintendo released their very first game and watch. Using the power of innovation and LCD screens, Nintendo created multiple portable consoles of entertainment and continued to develop these systems for about a decade. But on November 13th, 2020, Nintendo released their latest addition to the Game & Watch family close to a whole decade later. They should make more of these. The Game & Watch family of devices has been around for years, and Nintendo making another one of these things years later isn't anything too crazy. In 2009, they reissued their very first device in the series to club Nintendo members only, so they don't just remake these for poops and giggles. And the same goes for the latest addition to the family, the Super Mario Bros. Game & Watch. To celebrate Mario's 35th anniversary, Nintendo decided to make this cool little novelty item for the year. And personally, I think this thing is pretty sweet. It has a very slick and compact design with a pretty good LED screen, and the buttons and the console itself feel really solid. Honestly, I was a little surprised at the quality. I really just thought Nintendo was just making this little limited novelty item, knowing fans like me would scoop it up and let it sit on their shelf for the rest of its life. Cause you know, hashtag game collecting, am I right fellas? But to my surprise, I tried this thing out and it was actually a cool way of experiencing the original Super Mario Bros. It also features three other options like the Lost Levels, a minigame called Fall, and the Time. Cause I mean, it wouldn't be a game and watch without, well, a watch. This thing is slick, it feels good, and in my eyes, it's a good product. Over the course of playing it though, I couldn't help but think of all the potential and possibilities this system could bring. I feel like Nintendo could really take advantage of this opportunity and potentially continue the Game & Watch family of systems. Now I'm not sure how successful this thing was when it was released or if it's even worth making another system, but you cannot tell me that this was expensive to make. It could easily just replace the ROMs and assets and I mean I get it, it would need a little tweaking but not too much. But again, I don't even know if this warrants another system. This piece of hardware is straight novelty. There are plenty of other ways to play Super Mario Bros and there are tons of way better ways to check the time, but to me, this is a pretty sweet collector's item, and I would love to see Nintendo expand upon it further in the future. Nintendo is the one company that has tons of IPs and old games that people will rebuy over and over again, and I can't help but imagine what it would be like if they started making more of these Game & Watch systems with different games to feature. And so I thought it would be fun to make a few mock-ups of my own and share my thoughts on some games that I feel would fit really well in a Game & Watch. And the very first one that came to mind is The Legend of Zelda on NES. The next most iconic NES game next to Super Mario Bros. is The Legend of Zelda. I mean, they shared a cereal box together. There's your proof right there. I actually really enjoy the original Zelda. Yes, it can be cryptic, but it has this exploring charm to it that I really like. I feel like Zelda would fit the Game & Watch build extremely well. For players who've never played or beaten this game before, the Game & Watch would be a perfect way to play through it in my opinion. It would be so portable, making it easy to play little sessions of it and giving the player time to explore all around the world. It could easily be another anniversary item for Zelda. They could even feature Zelda 2 on the system. If I had to make a prediction on what the next Game & Watch would be, I think it would be this one. Super Mario Bros. 3 is the next game that makes the most sense to me. For starters, it's easily aged the best out of most NES games. It has a lot of content and replay value to offer, and it's generally one of the best platformers out there. It's definitely a game that deserves its own Game & Watch just because of how well it holds up and how popular it really is. Mario 3 would be a no-brainer to bring to the Game & Watch, and I feel like the game has a perfect length for a portable device, but most of all, it's super replayable. Tons of levels to play through, tons of secrets hidden across each world. It's a game I find myself replaying every so often, and having it in this form would be pretty sick. Super Mario Bros. 3 is a timeless classic, and I think it deserves a spot in the Game & Watch lineup. This next one is a personal favorite of mine, but Punch-Out! would be a perfect Game & Watch. As sad as it is, I don't really see a lot of potential with this one happening, 
as much as I would love it, this series doesn't get as much love as Nintendo's main IPs. Now, when talking about replay value, this one offers a ton, and combine that with the portability, you could pop this out, fight a couple matches, and come back to it whenever you want. Its gameplay is really fun and addicting to me, and it just sort of fits that feel of short bursts of fun. I think with the addicting gameplay and the easy to pick up and play nature of Punch-Out, it would make a great Game & Watch, and if they ever release one solely for Punch-Out, I am 100% sold. Castlevania seems like a solid pick for one of these. The game isn't too long, but because of its difficulty, it can become a hard but fulfilling challenge that can last you for a good while. It's an interesting blend of platforming and using your sub-weapons tactically, and it would make for a good mix-up compared to some of the more normal platformers. It would also add a Halloween-themed device to the collection, so that's a plus, right? Castlevania is another one of those games that tests your patience, and if it was on one of these, it could give you plenty of opportunities to beat and try this little challenge. Castlevania is a hard but classic NES game, and I feel like it would be a nice change of pace to the family of Game & Watches. Now Kirby, on the other hand, would be the complete opposite. The Kirby Game & Watch would be a more relaxing experience. Appealing more to the casual audience, the system would feature Kirby's Adventure. I enjoy this one a lot, and surprisingly, this game has quite a bit of meat on its bones. Kirby is so accessible and always has that pick up and play feel with every game, so having this be strictly portable makes a lot of sense to me. Kirby had his start on the Game Boy, and so having him in the Game & Watch family would bring him back to his origins of bringing lots of entertainment on the go. Well, that does it for the adventure-esque games. With most of these titles, they're fun to replay, but once you're done with them, there's no sense in replaying them for a while. So I thought I would add a couple more games to the list that, in a sense, go back to the roots of the Game & Watches. Because of the limitations back then, the older systems couldn't really have full flesh adventures, so most of them opted for a more arcade approach, and the goal was to get a high score instead of beating a game. This added endless amounts of replay value and fit perfectly with the goal of the systems, to give simple bits of entertainment to pass the time. And so, to go with the theme of arcade-like games, I wanted to start with one of Nintendo's most popular titles in that realm, Donkey Kong. I think it only makes sense to have arguably Nintendo's most popular arcade title in Game & Watch form. You can't go wrong with classic Donkey Kong, with the barrels and the springs and the flames, the goal is to reach Donkey Kong through a series of four levels, and each time you defeat him, the game gets harder and faster. It's a fun arcade experience. What else do I need to say about this one? I mean, it's Donkey Kong. Next up on the list is Mario Bros. Just like Donkey Kong, I think this is one of the more well-known arcade titles Nintendo has produced. And if you don't know what it is, it's the home of the trash stage in Smash Bros with the crabs. Yeah, you know the one. It has a simple concept of defending off waves of enemies with weird physics, but after getting used to the controls, it can be pretty fun for a while. I played this quite a bit on the Game Boy Advance with the Mario remakes. For some reason, almost every Mario game on the system had a copy of Mario Bros. pre-installed on there, but I'm, I'm getting off topic. Anyways, having this on a Game & Watch would be a great fit in my opinion. If there's one type of games that I feel like would fit the Game & Watch perfectly, it would have to be puzzle games. For starters, puzzle games are incredibly addicting. They're practically endless games, and there's so many great ones to choose from. Games like Dr. Mario, or my personal favorite, Yoshi NES. Seriously, this game is slept on. But out of all the puzzle games around, there's one that towers above the rest. And that's Tetris. Now I know Nintendo doesn't own Tetris or anything, and out of all the games presented here, it's probably the least likely to happen, but I seriously can't get over the idea of Tetris on a Game & Watch. This is the type of game that's made for these types of little systems. Again, I know Tetris is a giant copyright mess, but this was just one idea I threw in there because it would make the perfect Game & Watch. All of these are just a few examples of what it could be like if Nintendo took advantage of this opportunity and revamped the Game & Watch brand. I know I and many others would enjoy these novelty items. I mean, people enjoyed this one, why not give it another go? I think it would be an easy cash grab for Nintendo, and to me, it makes sense releasing these regularly, or for more anniversary items for more IPs. 
This piece of novelty was a really cool product to me, and I couldn't help but share some of my personal thoughts and ideas about this thing and what it could be capable of. Honestly, I'm probably close to the only person who cares about this niche product, but personally, I think Nintendo could really take these Game & Watches to the next level. But I guess we'll have to wait and see what happens. What's happening, everybody? Thanks so much for watching this uh, showcase of all my mock-ups I did. <laughs> um, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you have any other games you think would fit in a Game & Watch, uh, make sure to leave a comment down below. And so, uh, yeah, but thanks again for watching, and we'll see you guys later.